Okay, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the hockey slate for uh, for tonight. And this worked out really, really well yesterday. Um, and this is the way I'm going to probably continue to do the, the hockey content until I figure out a better way to do it. I am going to use my projections to kind of start these builds and start the analysis and see if we can't figure out what types of plays we should be making. And then what we're going to do is then we're going to run a Saberson build to see what kind of lineup Saberson would create for us, given my projections, and then see, you know, what we can learn from that. And again, this is a little bit early. Um, I am going to be updating, hopefully, the projections closer to lock. But the hockey projections don't change as much as some of the other sports. So, um Yesterday we did really really nicely. We, we we were between Edmonton and and Vegas, and Edmonton totally smashed. Well, I shouldn't say totally smashed. Um, McDavid did not smash, but everybody else did. Um, so for those of you that were on that, that uh, obviously that worked out really well. A couple of Winnipeg guys kind of filled it out for us to make that work. Um, so it was uh, you know if you if you mixed Winnipeg with Edmonton and Vegas or whatever, that was that was what you needed to do. Um, let's take a look at today's slate. Um, it's a much, it's a, it's a, it's a big, big slate. Uh, I don't expect it to look that easy, but this is what I like to do. Again, first thing is I like to see if anybody stands out as a particularly awesome value play. And when I rank these guys, I'd like to use sheets value score to rank them. Um, and the one thing I'll notice is that there's no real big kind of standout value play. I, the, there's very little gap between the top guy and the second guy. So what that usually uh, you know, uh, leads me to conclude is that you want to be focused on the stacks, you know, uh, um, and, and try to avoid one-offs in, in a slate that you don't have standoff one out, standout one-offs. Um, I guess that's the best way I can describe it. So this is where you want to create stacks with maybe five twos and, or even six, you know, even full onslaughts or things like that. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing when it comes to these hand builds. So let's take a look now and see what teams comprise guys that are, you know, in this main glut. So let's get greedy. Let's just start with the, with the first guy on the list in Eberly. I do see a couple of Seattle guys kind of in the mix up here. So, so you have Eberly and Schwartz and Burakovsky. Um, so if you start with those three, they're all, they are all wings. So it makes it a little harder, but you know, you could fill in your centers pretty easily there. So that's one place you could look. Another thing I noticed is that there are two Buffalo guys right at the top. So Skinner and Tage Thompson. Um, so Buffalo might be a team that you might want to look into. And then Calgary, this guy Toffoli, nobody really to pair him with. Then we're back to Eichel again, and we're, this is the same Vegas guy. So Eichel, Marchesol, Stone. Ah, here we go. And Petrangelo, same crew as last night. Now, it's a back-to-back, -back, and to be perfectly honest, I mean, I don't know how relevant back-to-backs are with respect to hockey. Um I'm just going to presume that the projections kind of account for all that. Maybe that's lazy, but that's uh, that's the way I'm going to going to deal with this. So I guess first thing off the bat is the Vegas stack seems to be pretty logical. I mean, because you have four players all projecting well, and as we remember from yesterday, when we looked at what lines these guys all played in, see, I start to remember already. All four of these guys were on the power play line. So it becomes a really, really good thing to stack everybody on that power play line. Um, so I guess that's the first thing I would, I would try to do is put a Vegas stack together. Um, and we'll do that in a minute. Let's take a look at some others, see if anything else stands out here. Not particularly, right? I don't really see any other LA guys being paired with Fiala. Um, it's a pretty good one-off though. Um, I don't see anything being paired with Calgary. I don't see anything paired pretty much with Nyquist. So it looks as though the either playing a Buffalo stack, a Vegas stack, or a Seattle stack 
makes a lot of sense. But I want to stop for a minute. For those of you that have been following, you know, all the other sports I do, you, you, you might, you would notice most people, people that are just watching me do hockey wouldn't notice, but, but all of you, all the see do other sports would notice. It's not exactly the way I usually analyze things, right? It, I, 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 I'm, I'm just looking at these guys on my sheet and I'm just saying, okay, all these guys together just seem to make sense. But with hockey, I just feel as though this is the way you're supposed to handle this. You know, you, you don't want to get too, too kooky and too crazy about, about, about any other way to do it. Um, and then what I like to do then is get my thoughts on what I think should happen. And then I compare it to what Sabersim suggest i should do and then see how closely they align and, and things like that so let's do this let's pull up a um let's get a a hockey line up here and put it together let's just see what it would look like if we did what we said so let's let's uh let's put the vegas guys in first um i love those late night hammers uh eichel who was the other one? March Assault. I already, I already remember them. How good am I? Stone, Petrangelo. And we probably want to put the other guy from the five man um, in there. So let's put in, you know what? Let's, let's, let's be intelligent. Let's go to Sabersim. Make sure that we get everybody on that power play line. And let's just play them all. Now you could get this information from any number of sites about who's on what line, things like that. But let's, um, Let's do it via Saberson here, and let's not look at, at Yahoo. Okay, so let's look at Vegas. So it's Eichel, Stone, Petrangelo, Stevenson. So Stevenson's the other guy, okay? Um, so we'll add Stevenson to the mix here. And that's a good five-man stack, a good kind of onslaught to kind of just get your, get your day going. And at 63.75 per player, you could you could play all kinds of other stuff if you wanted. Like for example, if you want to go back and get those two Seattle guys that were near the top of the list, it's totally extremely simple to do. Um, at the risk of creating a full lineup and getting everybody mad at me, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it anyway. So let's see. Um, so the top guys. That was that's football. Sorry. Let's go back again. I mean. You don't can't even spend all your salary playing this way, you know. Um, but you could play Schwartz and Eberly just as an example, and then play whoever you want a goalie. And you probably you probably not spending enough salary to do this, but let's take a look. Let's go back to Seattle. If we put Schwartz, and then um, who was it? Who's the other guy from Seattle? Let's pull him up. I mean, you're, we're, we're going to have to spend a little more money. So we'll have to find probably some just higher raw points projection, right? So let's just, let's do that. Let's just, let's just sort by, by this. So now you can play guys that maybe aren't the greatest values, but are just putting up a lot of fantasy points like Pasternak. Is there another guy to go with Pasternak? That'd be great. So Pasternak and Bergeron, you could play a two off with these two probably, you could probably do that. Um, let me just see. Maybe, maybe not, but just, just want to see how the salary kind of kind of deals with this. I mean, almost, right? You're gonna have to be really cheap with your goalie to do this. But um um but that's what this Vegas stats kind of allows you to do. So that's what I recommend. I would I would play the Vegas. You know, it seems to it seems to make a lot of sense. And then you could pretty play play wherever else you want. And the rest of it. Now, this does not take into account ownership, and as you might imagine, all these guys are probably going to be pretty popular if you if it, if they allow you to do so much more, right, with your lineups. But hey, <laughs> we got to start somewhere. All right, let's now go back into Saberson and let's see if we can build like lineups using Saberson, which I think is very important, you know, because Saberson takes into account all the correlation, all the upside, ownership fade, and things like that. And usually get you things that you wouldn't think of uh, on your own when you're just kind of looking at the projections like I was. So let's take a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload my projections. Where is my, where's upload? Look, 
Upload. Um, upload CSV. Now again, you could you could do this straight from the True DFS website if you are a premium member. I'm just kind of doing it from a local computer. So we're replacing uh, Sabre Sims projections with mine. And we'll build Linus. Let's build, let's build 150 just to kind of see. Well, let's build 50. It takes a while for, for hockey liners to get built for some reason. And we're going to use their default sliders, and then we're going to see what they come up with. We're going to get a lot of, are we going to get a lot of Vegas? Are we going to get some Seattle? Are we going to get somebody else? Let's see what happens. All right. So it looks like in this particular situation, they are getting the Vegas guys. And the five guys that I put in my main lineup are the five highest owned. So it doesn't always work this way. Like usually just when I think that they're going to give me, you know, the guys that my, my, my sheets come up with, uh, they give me all kinds of other stuff. But in this particular case, I am getting about two thirds Vegas. And what that should tell you is that, is that they're really, really strong. In other words, if you're going to play that, if, if they're going to, Saberson is going to build these lineups for you, even knowing that they're going to be high owned. Um, that usually indicates a very, very strong uh, likelihood of success. Um, so this is a slate where, this is fun because look, look, when you when you play Vegas, you're never cashing until like deep into the night, which is yeah, in a way in a way cool, and in a way frustrating. But whatever, you could just anti sweat the rest of the the rest of the plays <laughs> until then. Um, so uh, tonight I am going to be live. It's a it's a it's a small four game NBA slate. So with any luck, I'll be able to. Um, I will be able to. Uh, to take care of NHL as well when we go live. But until then, this should be kind of a, a decent early preview. Uh, if you want access to all this premium stuff, I encourage you to go to True DFS, pay for subscription, pay for a uh, Saberson package and all that stuff. But uh, that'll do it. Good luck.